you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? There's that one guy, uh, Black Bond used to say, or Black Bond, um, plastic. Your fanboy's a plastic. Black Bond, whatever his name, yeah, Black Bond. He, he said you guys worship plastic. You do. And that's fucking sad. Somebody, anybody, please, I'm begging you, help me understand here. Help me understand why a bunch of grown-ass men sit in a Google Hangout once a week and act like cheerleaders for a company that doesn't give a damn about them. I mean, the things some of these guys say are just borderline retarded. I'm sorry, it is. The PlayStation 4 hardware sells better. The PlayStation 4 software sells better. The PlayStation 4 pretty much controls half the console market. The gap is getting bigger, it's not getting smaller. So explain to me how the Xbox One is catching up, let alone catching up fast at all. Explain to me how the Xbox One has the PlayStation 4 right where it wants it. Because according to you guys, selling less software and selling less hardware puts you in a better position, not in a worse one. I mean, the amount of excuses you guys make is beyond hilarious. And I mean, at this point also, the Xbox One, to me, is an unfinished console. Wait for the cloud. Wait for DirectX 12. Wait for better ESRAM usage. Wait for improved dev kits. Wait for the updates. I mean, what else are we waiting for? It's 2015. Oh wait, I know what else we're waiting for. We're still waiting for 343 Studios to fix the Master Chief Collection. What is it, six months later now? And you know what else we're waiting for? That niche game, what is it called? Um, Bloodborne, that's it. That niche game you said that would not sell has sold over one million copies, and yet Sunset Overdrive, how much has that sold? <laughs> I'm betting it probably hasn't sold one million copies, now has it.